The ultimate meal prep starter kit. All you need is here. Dealing with getting lunch at work can be a real downer. If you don't plan ahead, you'll be stuck with the often unhealthy and unnaturally large portions available at fast food joints and other restaurants. If you're trying to eat healthy, you'll find limited options. And expensive ones at that, leave your days of $12 salads behind by doing meal prep in advance so you can bring your own healthy, and delicious, lunch to work every day. The key to getting started with meal prepping is to not try to do too much too fast. If you're accustomed to never packing a lunch, start with prepping a couple of days a week. Once it becomes a habit you can work on packing lunches every day. Think about what kinds of foods you like to eat that can be eaten cold or easily reheated. Because we're talking healthy lunches. Think about salads, soups, grain dishes, beans, sandwiches and wraps. We've got 10 great recipes to get you started below. But you'll definitely do better sticking to your healthy lunch plan if you're making things you like. Another great idea is to choose items that will freeze well. Many soups, grains and beans do well in the freezer. So you can make a big batch and freeze it in lunch-sized portions to be pulled out in future weeks. Score. Check your kitchen for supplies you can repurpose to help with your meal prep. You'll need small plastic or glass food storage containers, mason jars are excellent for this purpose. You may also want a bento box or divided lunch box if your meal will consist of multiple items. They're also adorable. Prepping once for the whole week of healthy lunches is a great habit to get into. And a great way to spend your Sunday afternoon or evening. But be aware of food safety and don't keep foods for too long after you prepare them. Salads will be best in the day or two after you make them. Meat can hold in the fridge for three or four days. Vegetarian items can go longer. And things that have been kept in the freezer are good for at least six months in cold storage and for a few days after thawing. Maybe the classic meal prep lunch is the mason jar salad. There's a good reason for that they are cute. Easy to make and you can make a great variety of salads. Both with greens and with pasta. By following this same basic structure. Organize yourself skinny has the lowdown on what makes a mason jar salad work basically. You put the dressing on the bottom. Then some hard vegetable barrier between the dressing and the greens or pasta, and links to more than a dozen ideas you can make yourself. Her Greek mason jar salad. Pictured above. Calls for chicken but you could also sub chickpeas to make it vegetarian and to save money. Though either way these salads are only a couple of bucks a serving. Ramen is a meal you might have left behind in your poor college student days, or not. But you can give that classic broke food a serious and healthy upgrade with the tips from Serious Eats. This homemade instant noodle recipe is a perfect make-ahead for lunch. Start with partially cooked noodles and fresh vegetables. Add seasonings, and some fresh veg like chopped green onions on the side. When you're ready to eat, all you need is some boiling water to make your co-workers jealous. The most expensive item in this recipe is probably the shiitake mushrooms. But you're still looking at pretty cheap eats. Keep scrolling down that page for other variations. 2. A classic a vegan fare, I won't tell if you add some meat, Buddha bowls are a great meal prep basic to have in your arsenal because they can be made a million different ways. Usually these bowls include some kind of grain or blend of grains. Vegetables and often beans or tofu. The southwestern Buddha bowl from Simply Sissom adds chicken but you don't have to. This recipe is a good one because she gives tips for making it ahead and freezing the components to make prepping it faster the next time. Once you've made a recipe like this a few times, you'll start making your own grain bowls by throwing together whatever sounds good. What produce is on sale this week or what you have extra of in the fridge. It's the ultimate use everything meal. If you've roasted a chicken or bought a rotisserie chicken for another meal, Using the leftovers for chicken salad is a perfect way to get a make-ahead lunch on the cheap. This is one you should plan to eat within a couple of days of making it. And, of course, keep in the refrigerator or otherwise chilled at work before you eat it. You may already have a go-to chicken salad recipe. But if not this one from Add a Pinch is great because it is healthier than a lot of recipes out there. She uses yogurt along with the mayo to lighten it up. And adds grapes, pecans and cherries for crunch flavor and nutrition. There are so many cheap and easy soup recipes out there. And once you are comfortable with the basics of making soup, you can easily make a vegetable soup with just about any extra vegetables you have on hand. You can even use frozen vegetables if you don't have anything fresh. Lentil soup, like this one from Alexandra Cooks, is a great place to start. Lentils are inexpensive and healthy but filling. And they taste great with just carrot. 
celery and onion and some spices. You can also freeze lentil soup and keep eating from the same pot for a while. Add her homemade bread to make this meal extra special. Another meal idea with a lot of potential for variation is the honey sesame chicken rice bowl from sweet peas and saffron. Make it as is with chicken, rice, asparagus and broccoli. Or change up the vegetables, grains and protein with whatever you have in the house. This is another great one for using leftovers. Or cobbling together from pre-cooked meat and grains that are in the freezer. Wraps are another great option for meal prep, just make the filing in advance and wrap it up the day you're going to eat it. These Thai peanut wraps are colorful, healthy and full of flavor, and give you a good starting point for entry into the world of wraps. As the recipe from Spiced is written, they're vegetarian, but you could throw in leftover chicken as well. Pasta salads are an easy make-ahead meal that can be eaten alone or as a side dish. And it's easy to make a lot so you'll probably do both. The kitchen's orzo with butternut squash is a great fall in a bowl dish. And you just have to reheat it a little for lunch to be ready. Anything with beans is great for meal prep because you can buy dried beans inexpensively. Cook a big batch. Divide into concise portions and freeze. Pull out what you need for the week and you can use your beans in a bunch of different ways. Naturally Ella has a great recipe for chickpea shawarma. Which can be made ahead and served with hummus and pita bread as a sandwich or salad. You can also make your own hummus to make the meal even less expensive. Your favorite chili recipe is a great meal prep option. And it no doubt will freeze well. Making future lunches that much easier. If you don't already have a go-to white chicken chili recipe, which is a healthier option than many other meaty versions, check out this one from Serious Eats. It calls for soaking the beans overnight and cooking them yourself. Which is an economical option that also makes them tastier. Roasted veggies add to the depth of flavor. Julie McCormick Julie McCormick is a writer and co-owner of the Cleveland Leader, a Technorati Top 1000 site. Read full profile. Have you ever noticed that some people are able to effortlessly remember even the most mundane details and quickly comprehend new things? Well, you can too. Learning how to improve memory isn't as difficult as you might think. To unlock the full potential of your brain, you need to keep it active and acute. Wasting time on your couch watching mindless television shows or scrolling through social media is not going to help. Besides getting out flashcards, what can you do to help remember things better and learn new things more quickly? Check out these 10 effective strategies on how to improve memory. Physical activities don't just exercise the body, but it also helps to exercise your brain. Obesity and the myriad of diseases that eventually set in as a result of being overweight can cause serious harm to the brain. So when learning how to improve memory, exercise is king. Furthermore, without regular exercise, plaque starts to build up in your arteries, and your blood vessels begin to lose the ability to regulate blood flow. Plaque buildup reduces the amount of oxygen and nutrients that your blood carries to your brain. When the nutrients don't make it there, the brain's ability to function is compromised. One study in particular found that exercising four hours after learning significantly improved memory retention. The researchers suggested that, appropriately timed physical exercise can improve long-term memory and highlight the potential of exercise as an intervention in educational and clinical settings. To improve your memory, make sure you get moving every day. Even if it's just a brisk walk, it'll help you maintain and increase your mental acuity. Brisk walking, swimming, and dancing are all excellent activities. If you have trouble finding time to fit in a workout, check out this article, 5 Ways to Find Time for Exercise. Any risk factors that cause you major stress, like anger or anxiety, will, in time, begin to eat away the parts of your brain that are responsible for memory. Amongst the most brain-damaging stressors is depression, which is actually often misdiagnosed as a memory problem since one of its primary symptoms is the inability to concentrate. One study assessed memory in 3,999 veterans and found that depressive symptoms, without anxiety, had an adverse effect on immediate recall of new information and the total amount, but not rate, of acquisition. If you can't concentrate, then you might feel like you are constantly forgetting things. Depression increases the levels of cortisol in your bloodstream, which elevates the cortisol levels in the brain. Doctors have found that increased cortisol diminishes certain areas of the brain especially the hippocampus, which is where short-term memories are stored. Prolonged depression can thus destroy your brain's ability to remember anything new. Seek professional help to combat your depression and any stressors causing it, your brain will thank you.
Getting a consistent 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night will help you in your task of learning how to improve memory. During sleep, the brain firms up memories of recently acquired information. Especially during REM sleep. Getting enough sleep will help you get through the full spectrum of nocturnal cycles that are essential to optimal brain and body functioning during the waking hours. On the contrary, sleep deprivation can put a huge dent in your ability to form memories. Another helpful strategy is to take a nap during the day. Especially after learning something new. This can also help you to retain those memories. As well as recharge your brain and keep it sharper longer. However, the length of your nap is also very important. Scientists, in one study, found that people who napped for 30 to 90 minutes experienced better word recall. 50 to 60 percent of the brain's overall weight is pure fat. Which is used to insulate its billions of nerve cells. The better insulated a cell is. The faster it can send messages and the quicker you can think. This is precisely why parents are advised to feed their young children whole milk and to restrict dieting. Their brains need fat to grow and work properly. Skimping on fats can be devastating, even to the adult brain. Thus, eating foods that contain a healthy mix of fats is vital for long-term memory. Some excellent food choices include fish, especially anchovies, mackerel, and wild salmon, and dark, leafy green vegetables. Deep-fried foods obviously contain fat. But their lack of nutritional value is not going to help your brain or your body. So think healthy foods and fats first. According to Larry McCleary, MD, author of the Brain Trust Program, an egg is the ideal breakfast. Eggs contain B vitamins, which help nerve cells burn glucose, antioxidants that protect neurons against damage, and omega-3 fatty acids that keep nerve cells firing at optimal speed. If you want to learn how to improve memory, Breakfast is incredibly important. Other foods to add to your breakfast include fruits, veggies, and lean proteins. Avoid trans fats and high fructose corn syrup. Trans fats diminish the brain cell's ability to communicate with each other. And one study found that HFCS can actually damage the brain by promoting brain insulin resistance. Having a healthy breakfast in the morning has been shown to improve performance throughout the day. Don't skimp on this important meal. Nowadays. It's fairly uncommon to write down notes with a pen and paper. When we go to class or meetings, we take our laptops and use that to mark down important ideas. However, recent research has suggested that may be doing us more harm than good. One 2014 study found that even when laptops are used solely to take notes, they may still be impairing learning because their use results in shallower processing. You can start a journal, write yourself emails, or even start keeping a blog. All of these activities will help to improve your capacity to remember and memorize information. Most importantly, if you're going to class or to a big meeting, consider taking notes by hand instead of on your computer. Research shows that certain types of music are very helpful in recalling memories. Information that is learned while listening to a particular song or collection can often be recalled by thinking of the song or playing it mentally. Songs and music can serve as cues for pulling up particular memories. If you're looking into learning how to improve memory, this can be a great thing to try. Listening to music has been shown to specifically benefit the memorization of words. One study found that young adults who listen to music while memorizing a list of words, as opposed to listening to environmental sounds or silence, performed better when asked to recall the words. Next time you have to memorize a speech of want to compete in a spelling bee, try listening to music while studying. You may be surprised by how much it helps. Pay attention to photographers, charts and other graphics that might appear in your textbook, or if you're not studying a book. Try to pull up a mental image of what it is you are trying to remember. It might also help to draw your own charts or figures. Or utilize colors and highlighters to group related ideas in your notes. Another strong visualization technique for memory is the memory palace. This essentially involves imagining a place you know well, your house or a former school. For example, listing distinctive features of the place in your mind, and begin to associate those features with things you want to remember. Then, when you need to recall information, you simply go the specific room or object where you stored the information in your mind, and it will come to you. For more information on how to build a memory palace, check out this article, How to Build a Memory Palace to Remember More of Everything. Reading material out loud has been shown to significantly improve memory of the material. 
Expanding further upon this idea is the fact that psychologists and educators have found that by having students teach new concepts to others, it helps to enhance understanding and recall. One study pointed out that this increased memory specifically because it forced students to recall the information in order to teach it. Teach new concepts and information to a friend or study partner. And you'll find you remember the information a lot better. Studies have shown that doing crossword puzzles, reading, or playing cards on a daily basis helps to delay memory loss. Especially in those who experience cognitive decline in the form of dementia. So. Pick up the daily newspaper and work on that crossword puzzle. Read a book. Or enjoy a game of solitaire if you want to boost your memory. Everyone has the ability to learn how to improve memory and boost their brain power. And everyone will find that different strategies work for them. Try out some of the above in order to get a feel for what works for you. Current biology, physical exercise performed 4 hours after learning improves memory retention and increases hippocampal pattern similarity during retrieval archives of clinical neuropsychology, the effects of depression and anxiety on memory performance sleep medicine, memory, sleep and dreaming, experiencing consolidation Johns Hopkins Medicine, can a nap boost brain health. Current neuropharmacology, impact of dietary fats on brain functions nutrients, dietary omega-3 fatty acid deficiency and high fructose intake in the development of metabolic syndrome. Brain metabolic abnormalities. And non-alcoholic fatty liver disease psychological science, the pen is mightier than the keyboard, advantages of longhand over laptop note taking music I science I, the positive effect of music on source memory applied cognitive psychology, the learning benefits of teaching, a retrieval practice hypothesis J in neurocycle SOC, association of crossword puzzle participation with memory decline in persons who develop dementia. Text source, lifehack.org.